So, you want to know how to master all four elements. Oh, oh wait, no. Oh, 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 that was Aang that wanted to, to do that. I was talking to Aang, not you guys. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Spike. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to combine two different scenes in Blender um, and composite them together so you don't have to render two different scenes and then put them together in your editing software of choice. So, it's very simple. We've done this before, but we've done it actually quite a few years ago. So, I figure it's time to make an updated version. So, we're back at it once again. Let's get this thing started. So, Let's say you have a scene. This is your uh, this is your default scene. You have the nice little default cube. Let's go ahead and hit and right click, right click and left click this. Uh, go to render image and we'll just render this um, this re render this default scene, right? So this is our first scene. We have our first scene down. You know whatever your first scene is. Now let's say you go up here to this thing that says scene. Hit this little uh, button right here and create new. Now this is a completely new scene. Obviously, we have to overlay whatever this is on top of our other scene. So let's go ahead and create an object by hitting Shift A and searching for maybe a monkey. Double tapping R to rotator, hitting Shift A, and we have to add a camera as well, just so we can see what's going on and we can have something to render. Um, so hit camera, hit zero to go into the front-facing view, and let's go ahead and uh, hit G. And then double tap Z to move it backwards. Double tap Z. Now I'm going to move our, our monkey over to the right hand side so we can combine it with the cube because the cube is going to be in this area right here. Um, so let's go ahead and hit shift A and we'll search for an, a lamp. Um, just a point lamp just so we can see the monkey. Nothing crazy. I might turn up the, um, I might turn up the power. I might turn up the radius a little bit. Maybe a little bit of the power again. But yeah, I hit shift D, duplicate it. This is just, you know, making it look a little bit better before we render this. So, as you can see, the background's black. So, if we were to render this and put it on top of our other scene, it would cover up the entire other scene because this background is black. So, to go ahead and fix that, make sure that, that, that your second scene um, is set to film transparent. You've done it. Thank God. We've done it. It's it, it's looking fantastic. Now, the next thing we have to do, the last thing we have to do, is go ahead and hit render. Render image. There you go. You see that uh, we have the image of the monkey with the transparency behind it. Now let's go back to our main scene. This is where we want to do the comp the composition and the compositing. So go up to um, this little uh, button right here, or you can go to com compositing. You can go here, change the entire uh, layout, hit use nodes, and you should see the default render layer scene, which is the first initial scene that we made um, with the default cube in it. Now we need to spread these apart a little bit. Hit Shift A and search for an alpha over node right there, alpha over, and put that right in between these two, um, the render layers and the composite node. Now, grab render layers, hit shift D to duplicate it, move it down beneath the original render layers um, node, and then change this from scene to scene point zero zero one, which is the second scene we just created. As you can see when we zoom in, that is definitely our, uh, our Suzanne scene with the monkey with the transparent background. Let's go ahead and hook up image into the bottom of the alpha over node. We're making progress, ladies and gentlemen. Now with this done, you can't see anything because we don't have a viewer node. So to take a look at what this looks like uh, before, we can, before we end off this video, hit shift A search for a viewer node and then put it right beneath the composite node and also hook that up as well so now when you see you look into the background and make sure backdrop is on you can see that if it was to load there you go you can unhook the composite node or just switch them around like that it works the same way um, if we render this once again you can see that it will render there you go. You'll see that it'll render, and now we can see the backdrop of the original scene and the Suzanne scene together. So this is how you combine two different scenes so that you don't have to put them together later on. Once you render them all out in Blender, you can render them together in Blender at the same time. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new today. Click the video on the screen if you want to see more tutorials. Thank you guys for all the support and all the love. Um, we're getting close to 90,000 subs, which is pretty crazy. I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, the next video, the next tutorial. Um, but until then, bye-bye.